Hello, I recently had a service call on um, some coins getting stuck on the coin mechanism. I'll show you how you can do it yourself and solve all those coin jumps by yourself. And you don't need to call a vending machine repair guy and then you're gonna and you can save like hundred fifty dollars. So I'll show you how it is done. So normally when you go to your when you when you go to your vending machine what you do is uh they're complaining sometimes when you put coins there it just goes through so that means uh 99 of the problem is uh, is uh, there's um coin jam inside the coin mechanism so i'll show you how to fix it by yourself uh, in doing this you would save a lot of money you would save 150 you know how how difficult it is to earn 150 you have to sell like like uh, 70 packs of chips maybe 50 bars of chocolate it's it's very it's, so you you have to do it by yourself so what you do is uh, you always have to make sure that you turn off the machine in your vending machine okay so when the power is off you will see that uh, this is the coin mech inside your your vending machine so all you have to do is to remove these uh, two notches here then then simply simply remove this top portion then you have to make sure that the power is off or else if you take this out it's going to destroy this coin mechanism this coin mechanism here in canada it costs like 350. so you have to make sure that it's switched off then you pull this cable out this this is a non-mdb type machine uh it's the old model it's the three six nine it's the 12 pins type so what you have to do is just have to take the the coin mechanism out of the way then uh, you have to simply you have to simply take out all the coins you take out all the coins you put it on uh, you put it on this side or or any surface then you put all the coins back in after you put all the coins back in you have to make sure that uh, the bottom part uh, the coin is not stuck and it's it should be aligned if the coins are not aligned at the bottom it's not gonna give a change to your customer so you have to make sure when you're uh, putting back the coins on your coin mech everything has to be aligned so that's how you you service your own your own coin mechanism jams it normally solves 90% uh, of the problem when a customer calls you so you see how simple it is thank you for watching oh yeah sorry by the way, <coughs> I'll show you. I'll show you how I put it back. You just simply hook it up on the screws there. Then uh, plug this right back to the twelve pins socket. Do not turn on the power, or else you're going to destroy the coin mechanism. So you have to hook this back. This ribbon there then you have to make sure it's properly secured because if it's loose it's going to destroy your coin mech so make sure that everything is secured here everything make it make it uh, fully secured then do not forget to to screw this back tightly it has to be uh, clockwise and just make it a bit tight once you're done you simply have to put this back in then make sure at the bottom 
you have to make sure that the coins are free flowing you see so that it won't get stuck or else customer will complain that uh, it's not giving out change so you have to do this once you're done putting back the coin mechanism you have to do this to make sure it's uh, loose and there's no stuck coins there then once you're done you just simply have to switch it on and to make sure that the coin mech is uh, not damaged you just simply have to pull this out then check if there's a light there if there's a light that means uh, your coin mech has no issues then you simply have to to insert coins and test it out you test out by ejecting the coins you test it out by uh, uh, buying a product then uh, see if it, gi it gives you the correct change this should solve 90% of the problems and then you would save like $150 instead of calling a vending repair guy so you can do it yourself thank you